Welcome to the Smite God Reveal for Merlin, the Master Wizard. You may know the myths and legends of the great King Arthur, but what do you know of the hands that set those legends into motion? Are they those of a prophet, a demon, or perhaps just a remarkable man? Whichever he may be, the power he wields is not in question. The great wizard Merlin has woven his magics and cunning in service of great rulers, ushering victories in war and foretelling he who would come to rule all kings. Through a vision of clashing dragons, he foretold the son of Uther to be that great king. As the dragon comet blazed across the sky, Merlin took his place at Uther's side, naming him Pendragon, a name his son would make known to all the world. Standing against the marauding barbarian hordes from across the sea, Merlin remained steadfast at Uther's side until he was claimed in battle. But even from grim ends can hope spring anew, for Uther's son now ascends to the throne. Merlin's many and mysterious works culminating in the rise of the greatest king of all time. Merlin is the master wizard, and as such he has a large variety of spells in his arsenal. Arcane, fire, and ice are all elements at Merlin's disposal, and by switching between these three different stances, he has access to many different abilities. Merlin's third ability, however, does stay the same in each stance, and shares a cooldown even when changing between them. Merlin is a stance switcher of sorts, and so it is important to start with his ultimate ability, Elemental Mastery. Merlin has access to his ultimate at level 1, and on use, it allows Merlin to attune to another stance, usually in rotation of Arcane, Fire, and lastly, Ice. When Elemental Attunement gains its first rank, it grows stronger. Enemies hit by the explosion and implosion suffer different effects depending on which stance's energy they are being hit by. Arcane knocks up enemies, fire burns, and ice slows. We are also going to skip ahead to Merlin's third ability, Flicker, as it interacts with his ultimate a little differently. Merlin instantly teleports a short distance in front of him. This ability is the same in each stance and shares a cooldown when switching between stances, unlike his other abilities. Every time Merlin casts a spell, he gains a stack of his passive Overload. When Merlin next fires a basic attack, it is augmented with lightning, dealing extra damage to the first enemy hit or dissipating if the attack misses. Merlin can maintain three stacks of Overload, which must be used before the duration runs out. Merlin conjures an orb of condensed celestial energy that grows in size as it travels. Enemies hit by the orb take a large portion of damage and are marked by the entity. Marked enemies suffer additional damage if they stay within the outer range of Eclipse. However, if they move out of the range, the mark falls off. Merlin deploys a field of arcane energy. After a delay, the vortex field deals damage and pulls enemies towards the center. Merlin channels a beam of intense fire for a few seconds. If an enemy is hit by radiate, they take damage and are also burned, taking additional damage over time. Merlin summons forth two ethereal dragons that spout flames toward each other, dealing damage to enemies in the area. If caught in the center of dragon fire, enemies' protections are reduced each time they are hit. Merlin quickly hurls a bolt of icicles forwards that explode in an area on contact with an enemy. If the enemy hit is currently afflicted by a slow effect, Frostbolt does additional damage to them. Merlin creates a localized blizzard at a target location. 
After a brief delay, shards of ice start hurling down at the area below. Enemies hit are damaged and progressively get more slowed with each strike. When Merlin is in his ice stance, he has access to a combo between his two abilities. By using Blizzard first on an enemy, they are affected by a slow while they are taking constant damage from the falling icicles. Quickly following Blizzard with a Frost Bolt procs the extra damage the ability offers, sending your enemy into a world of icy pain. The Arcane Stance has a combo of abilities as well, albeit with a very different feeling to Ice. After sending out Eclipse at an enemy, Merlin can follow that with Vortex. Enemies trying to flee the damaging Celestial Orb will have no success escaping the barrage of Arcane Energy. Merlin has the potential to cast a variety of different ability combinations with his large arsenal of spells. One devastating combo starts with his ice abilities, Blizzard and Frostbolt. By utilizing these two abilities together, you can lock down a foe with the slow of Blizzard while dealing large damage from Frostbolt. Flicker towards the enemy to get in range of the explosion of elemental mastery, dealing even more damage while attuning to your fire stance. Now, Merlin can utilize Dragonfire to set the opponents ablaze while finishing the combo with Radiate. Toasty. For Merlin's ability order, you will want to begin with Eclipse. Eclipse will offer good ranged poke while also dealing decent damage to the minion wave. Remember that by putting a point into his first ability, Merlin will have access to this ability in all three of his stances. Your next point should go into his second ability, Vortex. This opens up a full plethora of spells between all the elements and switching stances at a decent pace will be important to get an edge on opponents. Be wary of switching too often, as even at rank zero, elemental mastery does still cost mana. With a third point into Flicker, Merlin will be much more safe giving him access to his only movement ability. From here, you will want to follow the ability priority of elemental mastery, eclipse, vortex, and finally, Flicker. Merlin's build should focus on decent cooldown reduction, with Chrono's Pendant being an extremely valuable item. Penetration and power are also core to any mage that wants to pierce through the enemy defenses and leave them in a world of hurt. Begin with Mage's Blessing and Lost Artifact, as well as a few potions. Merlin has quite high wave clear with Eclipse and can even tap into more power with an early stance change. By going Shoes of the Magi and Chrono's Pendant, Merlin will have a very good core of damage and penetration as well as high cooldown reduction. Flicker starts with a long cooldown and being able to cast this ability more often as well as Elemental Mastery is key to being a versatile mage. Spear of the Magus is a good buy because many of Merlin's spells deal a constant barrage of damage in intervals. Because of this reason, Gem of Isolation is also a great item for this wizard, providing an on-demand slow with his spells. Spear of Desolation brings a good mix of all the stats that Merlin would need, power, penetration, and even a little cooldown reduction too. Finally, round out your build by switching out Mage's Blessing with Doom Orb. This last item is quite expensive, but offers more maneuverability for Merlin and a high amount of power. Thanks for watching the Smite God reveal for Merlin, the Master Wizard.